All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with a GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. All right. Um, the title of this lesson, okay, is um, do not boast yourself, or you know, don't 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 yeah, don't boast yourself, man. Okay. I was uh, and this lesson uh, was inspired by uh, I was at work, and this Jake that I worked with coworker was uh, bragging about this new house he bought. You know, he was boasting about uh, him. Uh, Painting this whole deck and, you know, all these things that he was doing to this new house that he bought. He had a shoe rack that went all the way across, like, one, from one part of the room to the other, a shoe rack. Okay? From one side of the room to the other. They had all these types of shoes and drawers and stuff like that. Just, you know, being uh, very uh, boastful and, and proud, man. You know? And I'm just like, man... You know, this Jake that has no idea what's coming down the pipeline. He's worrying about bragging and boasting. Okay? Which, you know, is, is, is you know, it's, it's against the scriptures to be boasting like that, man. This is uh, Sirach chapter 11 and Salakia for rambling. I was trying to get to the point of the story. This is uh, Sirach 11 at 4. It says, boast not of thy clothing. And remnant, raiment, okay? Now, when you go into our word boast, when you look it up, it says, talk with excessive pride and self-satisfaction -satis of, of one's achievements, okay? And that's what he was doing, man. He was boasting, okay, about what he did. But we all know... Uh, Everything we obtain comes from the Lord, man. Going back to uh, 1 Samuel's, man. Okay? It says, uh, boast. It says, uh, some of the synonyms says brag to show off. And that's exactly what the Jake was doing, man. He was going through his phone, all right? And he was showing me pictures of his new house and, you know, uh, 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 boasting about uh, how big his deck was and, you know, he was able to fit uh, over uh, 50 uh, pairs of shoes on his shoe rack in his room, you know? That's, that, that, that's, that, that's a prideful person, man. You're not supposed to boast about those things, you know? The Lord bless you with that. Ain't the water you have about Shemiah was shy. You don't go around boasting, man. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 4. It says, Boast not of thy clothing and raiment, and exalt not thyself from the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. So, you know, pretty much he's supposed to be staying humble, man. You know? But Jake don't know how to stay humble because Jake ain't never had nothing on his side, man. You know? Lord bless you with something. Hey, you know, it's all right to be happy about it. You know, but be humble, okay? Grab another precept because, uh, the, the scripture not the scripture, but the definition said pride, right? It says the pride, it says talk, it says boast, it says talk with excessive pride, and we all know pride is not of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, man. The Lord doesn't deal with pride. Okay, this is uh, Sirach chapter 10 verse... Uh, t -t 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 I'm going to start at uh, 12. It says, The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart turned away from his Maker. You see? That's wicked, man. To be a prideful person is when you depart from your Maker, the Most High Yahweh, man. Thinking that you did everything on your own. You got everything on your own. Okay? The Most High is not with that, man. I'm going to read it again. This is Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride. Okay? Boasting. 
is when one departed from the Most High. Because, yeah, because in that definition of boast, it says taught with excessive pride and self, self, self satisfaction, okay, of one's achievements. Knowing that all, you know, matter of fact, let me just get that real quick. Second time I done, I done quoted it. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 2. 1 Samuel, Salakia. Chapter 2, and I'm going to start at. Uh, let's see where I'm going to start. Seven. This is First Samuel two and seven. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. You see, He bringeth low and lifteth up. So pretty much, okay. The things that we get, whether the Lord makes you a uh, uh, poor on the side, okay. You may have just a a little uh, 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 apartment, okay. Or the Lord, you know, looks out for you and, and gives you a house. Whatever the case may be, all all things come from the Lord, man. Okay, it says verse eight: He raises up the poor out of the dun, out out of the dust, and lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. Yeah. So the point is, the Lord is the one that uh, makes you poor, makes you rich. Okay. But according to the Jake in my job, he done it all on his own. Boasting and bragging about uh, 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 his self-satisfaction, uh, man. Alright, so let's grab another scripture. It's not going to be a long lesson, you know. Probably grab a couple more and then wrap it up. But, you know, the point is, you know, you know you're not supposed to boast, man. You know, especially about, uh, you know, materialistic things, man. Because they come and go. This is Psalms 27, and I'll start at the top. It says, No, it's not what I'm looking for. Let's see here. So lucky that was not what I was looking for. Let me see if it's in here. Uh, nope. All right, let's grab another one. Let's stay in Psalms though. Let's go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 44. It's Psalms 44 and 8. It says, In the Most High we boast all the day long and praise the name, praise thy name forever. Salah. So, the men of the Lord, start with our head apostles and elders of the great mills on the brothers on down. We're going to boast, okay, you how about Shimmy I was shy, man. Not ourselves for what for, for, for uh, carnal things. Okay, we're going to praise and, and, and boast and, and uh, uh, uplift the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai because we read in First Samuel that the Lord is the one that uh, makes you rich, makes you poor. Man, He gets all the credit, man. Not ourselves, man. You know. Here it is, death and destruction is at the front door, and the only thing Jake can worry about is boasting about a house is going to be destroyed, shoes is going to be destroyed, man. Okay, and we can we can prove that that's going to be destroyed, man. I think I'll end it off on this. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna read the scripture one more time, then I'm gonna close out on my last one. This is uh, Psalms 44 and 8. And the most high we boast all the day long, that's right, day in and day out. And we wake up throughout the day, and before we lay it down, man, you know, we're boasting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all praises, man. This is Psalms 44 and 8. In Yahweh, the Most High, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Salah. That's right. We're going to always praise those names, man. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, who the world calls God in Jesus Christ. 
Okay, but back to this last uh, precept I wanted to bring out. You know, Jake is worrying about his crib. You know, how decked out it looks. And, you know, uh, yo, you don't, you can't afford these, all this, that, and the third. Yeah, look, man, the men of the Lord don't care about these carnal things, man. You know why? Because the men of the Lord are start, uh, storing up heavenly treasures, man. Because they know <laughs> the things we see here is going to be uh, 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 destroyed, man. This is Matthew 6 and 19. It's written in red. So is Lord Yahweh speaking. Who the world is going to call Jesus Christ. Okay, that's his name in the Hebrew. It says, St. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Okay. Where moth and rust, rust doeth corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. You see? See that Jake was bragging about his crib. Which can be taken away from you. Okay? You know, you, you stop paying a mortgage. What's going to happen? You're going to get evicted. You pay the house off. You don't pay the taxes. Guess what? You're going to get evicted. Okay? All those shoes that Jake was talking about. He had from a uh, shoe rack from one end of the room to the other. Yo, thieves can come through and, and break through and steal, man. You know, don't be so pride, prideful, man. Don't, don't, don't boast for the things you have, man. Okay, the Lord will humble you, man. Verse 20, St. Matthew 6 and 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. You see? And that's what the men and Lord are doing. Start with our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the brothers on down, man. You know, it says in St. Matthew 6 and 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. You see, because what you obtain, OK, from your works here and in and, 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 and the kingdom of heaven can't be taken away from you, man. OK, you're not going to have uh, Edomite coming through. Oh, you didn't pay taxes because uh, they're going to be in servitude, man. All these nations going to be in servitude, man. All right? Isn't the things you obtain, your jewels, your houses, okay? Your mansions, okay? They're not going to moth away. They're not going to uh, uh 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 they're not going to rust, man. And no one's going to be able to come through and break through and steal it. It says verse 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And Jake's heart Okay, that our heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind is on the carnal things of this world, man. Okay? It's on the carnal things of this world, man. As a matter of fact, I thought that was my last precept, but the Lord had me bring this out. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's right, Esau's uh, kingdom, rulership. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm hmm. It says, The earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up. From them ICBM missiles, man, hitting its target, okay? Mainly here in America. So why are you boasting and bragging about something that's going to be destroyed soon come? Verse 11, 2 Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. You know, when something dissolved, you put a, uh, like you put like an Alka-Seltzer tablet in some water. You see how quickly it dissolves up, man? That's how this place America is going to be dissolved, man. Quickly. It's going to be dissolved. Okay, it says, what manner of persons ought ye to be in? All holy conversation and godliness. Okay. It says. Uh, that, that was the point. That was the point. I could go on. But that was the point. You know. Our conversation. Our conduct. Should be on these scriptures man. Not on boasting and bragging. Okay. Be humble. <laughs> okay. Because the Lord can take it away. So with that. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly father. His own begotten son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach us his truth according to the Bible and who rule well. I know that Shalom to all the sincere Akim, start the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.